What's that you say? Cinnamon. Guys, the best coffee in in anything I've ever tried, honestly. It is the best coffee ever. It's the label showing. Cinnamon. You go for like the creature comforts of home for like one one meal of the day. <laughs> I'm alive. Oh. And the biscuit goes in the food. No, no, no. Guys, I tried the thing with the charcoal. Oh, there's some charcoal. There's, syrup at the bottom here. there's like the syrup and stuff. Oh, come on. This is sick. Hey, <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. Cheers, everyone. All good. And monkeys and forest and good things. Well, I'm just talking about my flavour profiles. After fueling up with enough caffeine to power a horse, Rachel and Jason set off to visit the infamous Stairs Temple. Located in a valley, surrounded by rivers, limestone carvings and big trees, it's the perfect setting to try local snacks. But first, Rachel has to tackle the cultural hurdles required to enter the temple. Flash! Bang! What's that? A woman wrapping a sarong around you. So, out of the blue, don't know this woman from a bar of soap. Sure, she's lovely. She seemed lovely enough. I mean, I felt the hug. It's happening. Oh, all right. Up on, up, up there, eh? Right, right up. Don't have? I don't have it, though. Is that a pickle? That one. What's happening? She was still there, the woman. Um, you wouldn't believe it. She wanted me to buy more sarongs. Now, I'm one woman. I can only wear one sarong at a time. You know what I'm saying? Lovely. Yes, do you want to do... Yep, off we pop. I feel like a, uh, a royal person. I, and I love that, but it's not, not, not sort of something I could do because I have no more money. But I appreciate the thought. Oh, no, just looking. I, again, still no money. Just looking. Uh oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, oh, um, thank you. I was already on the journey, on the journey of thinking it was a frock. The steps, gotta oh, love you that. Have no Double idea. Step. This is a place where you step, step, step. Yeah. How many steps are we going down? When I tell you about a cardio workout, listen to this one. I went up 380 stairs. No, I didn't. I went down 380 stairs and then right back up. So I went down to the temple. Uh, and then up in the same day in about 97% humidity or 98% humidity. Now, I wouldn't recommend that to me ever. I mean, it's a beautiful temple and it's worth it, so. I'm so yeah. up for this. We're going to definitely use the rail on the way up, I think. I really enjoyed it. I looked at it as, um, you know, um, exercise. Ooh. Oh, Rach. Oh, Jace. Oh, I'm coming, Kel. Just give me two secs to catch my uh, equilibrium. And uh, tell you what, Josh, I'm coming for you. I've got to go back and uh, get into the gym, guys. We in Tomb Raider right now? Yeah, yeah. Dude. These are actually, like, Dave, I will explain, but these are actually, like, tombs. So the snacks experience at the temple for me was, first of all, beautiful location and setting. Like, like amazing. I, I love that kind of old ancient um, historical stuff and so that was really special to me in general without the food but I also love food and dessert so um, that was really fun for me. And those snacks were Balinese version, it's like a treat or a sweet um, and they were not my favourite. I don't know what they are. Some snack Which one? Which, you, you, you point to one and I'll go. Okay, okay, let's go the tube first. Tube. This is interesting. Oh, how do you unwrap this? Like the chum chum? Oh. Do you want first nibs? Not when you hold it like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very gelatinous, isn't it? Oh, the, look at that. Did you see that pool, the cheese, yeah. cheese pool? But it's not cheese. cheese. Pool. <laughs> oh, can we go in? Can Straight in? Straight in, no kissing. Mm. Powdery. Not powdery. No. It's um, 
It's chewy, it's sweet. I'm not really into those sort of textures in my mouth or the flavours. Okay, that's that's cool. So it took root in my mouth. Stuck like a cucumber salmon. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks interesting. Butterflies are chasing each other. Oh, I don't know. Yikes. Okay, we're just gonna no, no. You can't push it through because it's sticking. Oh wow. Do half of this? Yeah. yeah. Killer. Pull. Oh. Good it's because I'm sticky already. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already sticky. Mmm. Smells different. Vinegar. Yeah, I was gonna say it smells like bread, like yeast. Oh my god. <laughs> really, the stickiness. Uh, so there's a lot of sticky. Uh, one, I mean, one, I couldn't even get it off my hands on the grass. I love trying all the new desserts um, and the textures and yeah, just finding. I don't know, just, especially because I didn't know what they were a lot of the time um, and we hadn't been told beforehand, so. You know mm. when sometimes you make a cake and then like, <laughs> you're making a cake, well you would know. Touch some holy water, Jason said some stuff about lolly, uh, nibble nibble. And then like, <laughs> sometimes you eat the, um. The burnt bit. <laughs> oh, it's a bean. It's a bean. It's That's a bean. what it is, it's a bean. Or is it chili? Is that chili? It's a bean. Is this a kicker? Is this chili? I don't know. Is this a I don't know. Okay. Mm. Miss Maud. Big lot. Okay, bread, delicious. Um, soft, crumbly coating, gets a little spicy in the middle. I would keep that sugary bread to help. What do you think? Um. Okay, so the inside is savory. Kind of looks, is that carrot? Yeah, it's carrot. It's not hot. The other bit was. Okay, it's a little bit hot. That was really fun to um, have that experience of tasting it and trying new things and uh, experiencing weird, weird new textures and yeah. Then I walk back up. Long way down, long way up. <laughs> Jason's very confident. Well, <laughs> gotta get up there. Oh no. Uh, it's just when you think there's no more stairs, I thought this was the top. I thought we reached the apex, predator top of the peak of the mountain. Not there yet. Go have keep fun going, going down. Go. It's fine. Yep. <laughs> see, you, see you on the flip side. Tough at the start, but then once you get going, it's easy. I could do it all day. Oh my God. Right, it's not that bad. Are you okay? I really enjoyed it. Get the blood pumping. It helps me and my ADHD specifically, like when I do exercise, it helps to calm me down and uh, releases that extra energy. Um, so I felt invigorated at the end. <sighs> Come on, Rachel. Mm, power of me. Yeah. Power of me? Yeah. Do you need a cane? Because we're trying to process so much information and make sense of it and separate it out and figure out where to point our attention, um, when there's a lot going on, we can very quickly exceed our capacity or our tolerance. So for, it looks different for different people. But so for some people, um, it can look like um, a bit of a shutdown. So she probably can still taste and feel um, that food in her mouth or she's getting sort of like the aftertaste of it, plus doing the cardio all up the stairs. So he's quite the opposite, where he's invigorated by the trying all of the new foods and exploring that. That's really exciting to him. And you can see him as Rachel's becoming more sort of withdrawn and shut down, and even like a little bit dissociative, where she's kind of like zoning out a little. Jason's becoming sort of more verbal and more chatty about it, yeah. So it's, it's interesting to see how to, and this is the whole point, right? If you've met one person with ADHD, you've met one person with ADHD. Or if you've met one autistic person, you've met one autistic person. It, the, the experience is not generalizable to everybody. Everybody has their own individual experiences and ways of being. The luscious rice fields of Bali a quiet, peaceful side of the island that many are familiar with. 
It's the perfect place for someone with ADHD to rest their mind and reflect on the day that was. We're going in a rice field. See how far we can get in there? Without falling over. Shit, if I fall, I'm going that way or this, this way. My shoe! It's a custom! Oh. Ah. Hey. oh no! My foot and my shoes! Uh oh, I'm in the sand! Oh no! Um, Jason, I'm in! <laughs> I'm trying! Jason! My legs, oh, my knees are in! Get my foot out! Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry, I'm muddy. <laughs> I'm scared though. <laughs> I've got parasites all over me for sure. Takes a lot of consequences. How far are we going, guys? As they continued their muddy journey into the rice field, Rachel wound up getting stuck a bunch more times. But luck was on her side, as a kind farmer offered the water reservoir to our Western Trooper for a much needed cleanup. Sadly, her luck was short lived as she made her way back out of the muddy field. Oh my God, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my God. After being rescued once again by a kind local, they made one more big mistake for the day. So I'm going to go and approach that barefoot and uh, with wet shorts. Pretty pleased with the cherry on the top. I just fell in a rice field. Can I go down there? This one? That one? Do we just scrap? So there's seeds, so pull the flesh. Right. That smell's coming through a bit, okay. Are we just doing it? Yes. Straight up? Okay. Cheers. Cheers. No, keep going. It actually tastes good after. Mm -mm. Jason told me, and I wasn't listening, but um, it was a type of a something. It tastes like mango when you get to no, the end. No, it does not, Jason. After the flavour? It's almost like curry, and then, and then, then mango. Oh. <laughs> yeah. These things were different, and um, I mean, yeah. Yeah, they said you can throw it. Oh, oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. This back, cause... Well, I've stepped on a rock, I've fallen in a rice field, pushed a car and eaten a durian that smelt like wet socks that have been whizzed around maybe in a prison or something with onion in them. It was terrible. Socks, man, garlic. socks. It's garlic, hey. No, socks. Like, no, there's No, like... I can only taste socks, onion? like 100%, like oniony socks. What do your socks smell like? Onion socks. <laughs> it smells... No, thank you. Jason, so mango. Fucking... I've got a note of coconut. I'm like... What are you talking about, my bro? There is none of that. He goes, if you get in closer, it's a mango. It's not. It's, 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 it's not. It tastes like mango. Yeah. What is it called? Well, that's something we'll never unsee. Good thing we're transitioning from the muddy fields to the narrow streets. See you on the next episode, where Rachel and Jason join in on the celebrations for the Balinese New Year. See you soon. <laughs>